Situated in Melbourne, Albert Park Lake is home to a large array of birds and wildlife. The black swan is abundant and can be spotted swimming on the water or nestled at the lake's edge amongst other bird species. Here we spot singular swans exhibiting grooming rituals to prune their feathers. These birds tend to prefer shallow permanent wetlands including salt, brackish and fresh waterways. There is a visual sexual dimorphism between male and female swans. The cobs are generally larger in size compared to the female pens, and both have brightly coloured bills. The black swan is a monogamous species where adults pair for life and parents exercise biparental care, raising one brood of up to 10 cygnets per season. Once they were believed to be completely monogamous, however, recent information has come to light suggesting they may only be socially monogamous. Some females have a risky wandering eye, offspring in a pair's brood may be fathered by another male. To protect his female, a male will exhibit some aggressive behaviours including wing flapping and biting. In the Southern Hemisphere, their mating season spans all the way from June to September. Here we see a triumph ceremony. This is a courting behaviour used to strengthen bonds between mates, parents and sickness and to showcase threatening territorial displays. This is a pair and one of their juveniles, characterised by light feathers and a light bill colouring. These juvenile cygnets are quite talented. They are able to swim and start feeding themselves straight after hatching. This little family are foraging together. They dabble on the surface for algae, but for subaquatic foliage, they can plunge their necks a metre into the water or elegantly append themselves. Many of the black swans at Albert Park Lake have been collared, black for the cobs and white for the pens. As you can see, this does not affect their foraging capabilities or have a morphological effect on their body condition. They cause no harm and are helpful in tracking movement and identifying the birds. Living in the busy city south, this population of swans have become very accustomed to humans. The hustle and bustle of their surroundings do not seem to bother them very much. As such marvellous creatures of water, the black swan exhibits behaviour that is adaptive to surrounding human activity. At first glance, they appear as peaceful parts of Melbourne's picturesque landscape, but these birds prove there is more to them than meets the eye. We hope the black swan continues to thrive and remain characteristic to Albert Park. Their consistent reproduction is crucial to maintain the biodiversity of Melbourne and Australia.